Welcome to another episode from Virtualize Everything. I understand we're breaking from our three-part episode on ZFS pools. Unfortunately, the videos that I recorded have a few technical difficulties regarding microphone settings. I have been trying to fix some of the background noise issues that you guys have complained about, while maintaining that I cannot work in a full-on sound studio. I have purchased a new microphone that we'll be trying out for this video, and I hope very much that upon the release of this video, we will have solved most of the background noise issues for you for the time being until I'm able to build a studio to record in. Unfortunately, studios take money and space, and us being a small startup, and striving to just give you the best quality content and tutorials are unable to provide that at this time. Oh well, let's just focus on what we can do, provide good quality tutorials. So we've been working a little bit with LXC, and this video will be more about working with LXC. It won't just be a configuration settings for LXC, it will also be beneficial if you're trying to use virtual machines with KVM or other configurations where you're doing virtualization with an Ubuntu server or other versions of Debian servers. So today we're going to use NetPlan to set up what is a network bridge. This bridge will allow you to use your outside network DHCP settings and also communicate with your outside network so that you can set up a server virtually inside of LXC that's hosted on your Ubuntu server and then use it on the rest of your network. The first thing we want to do is take a look inside our NetPlan folder at Etsy slash NetPlan. Also, I'd like to mention I'll be providing notes in the comments section for you to follow but I will be copying and pasting today as there are a lot of commands to type out and I want to make sure I get them correct as we go. Here is the first command. Now we can see the name of the file that we'll be editing, but first let's use the copy paste command to create a backup of that file. To do that, we're going to enter sudo cp the address to the file with the file name, a space, Etsy, NetPlan, the name of the file again. Then I'm going to add at the end of the name of that file, dot .bak for backup. If you need to reuse this file, you would use the same command, but drop the extension. So now let's press enter, give it our password, because it's the first time using sudo. And now if we run the ls etsy netplan command again, we can see that we do have a backup of this file. Now let's start our editing process of the netplan file that we have discovered. All right, so here is the default configuration for your netplan file. Now we wanna take note of a few things but we're pretty much going to eliminate almost all of this file. The thing we want to take note of is of this. Now, we also want to turn DHCP4 to false. As we're working inside of this YAML file, is that indentation is critical. We need to keep constant indentation in order for this file to work right. During the discovery process for this video, I have had multiple conflicts with creating this file due to indentation. So if you're struggling and then following commands after creating this file are failing, it is most likely due to the fact that your indentation is incorrect. So here I'm pasting in the configuration settings that I will be using to create the bridge. Now note that ENP name above, which is going to be your network interface name. 
we're going to need to apply that here. Then now we're going to be using a static IP address for our main system. So we'll enter that here. Our gateway configuration, our MTU configuration, our name server, in this case, we're going to use Google and not our PyPole. Our STP configuration, which tells it what protocol we would like to use, is called spanning tree. And you would set it to false to turn it off. A forwarding delay of four milliseconds just helps with network stability and DHCP is not going to be assigned via this machine. Now we can go ahead, press Control X, Y, and enter to save the file. Now it's time to generate the NetPlan file that we will apply to create this bridge. To do so, we're going to use the command sudo netplan generate. And as you can see, I now have an indentation error that I need to go in and fix. It looks like all of my lines that I copied and pasted to the bridge section need to have a space added to them, or two. Go ahead, save this file again, and try rerunning our generate command. Now, this can be awfully frustrating, and I understand, but if you get an error, just like I did above, nine times out of 10 working with this file, it is going to be indentation. Now, it's time to apply this configuration to netplan with the command sudo netplan apply. It takes a few seconds, but our bridge should be created momentarily. Ah, that's what's going on here. That makes sense. So, because we changed our IP address during the configuration process of this file, we lost our SSH connection. Let me go ahead, open PuTTY, and reestablish our SSH connection to this server, to the new IP address that I set in our configuration process. Okay, now we're back inside of our Ubuntu server that we've been working on for the bridge. So we can do one last thing to check and see if our bridge is set up. And that's run the IP address command. And as you can see, now we have a BR0 connection with the IP address of 10.10.2.170, just as we configured. This is the bridge that we configured in the previous process. So now we can begin using our bridge for projects like LXC, LXD, and KVMs. I hope you found tonight's video beneficial and look forward to more upcoming videos. Consider subscribing, liking, and sharing to this video to support Virtualize Everything in their endeavors to bring you great, high-quality, tutorials on different systems to do with virtualization. Also, consider clicking on the bell notification icon to receive updates like our upcoming video on using this very bridge configuration to set up a PyHole LXC container. As always, have a good night.